Okay, anytime you're ready, honey. This ought to be good. Hey, I'm glad to see you're rethinking your wardrobe. You ready to go? Gosh, I totally lost track of time. You know, you don't have to go to this party if you're not up for it. No, 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 no. There is no way that I'm missing Amanda's bachelorette party. And I know that you can't wait to hang with the bachelors and gamble away all our savings at the casino. Yeah, oh. uh, don't try hey, it. Hey, 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 all I need is you. You know that. <laughs> you know, I hate to interrupt this lovey-dovey moment. Oh, Joy. But I'd like some time in private. Well, sorry to disappoint, Mr. Hayward, but the chief is off the clock. That wasn't me asking permission. Baby, I'll meet you at the car. Uh, What's so important? You mentioned the other day that a child almost died. What you failed to mention was that you resuscitated him. Heroic, even. Don't think that you have to commend me for doing my job. I'm not. You took an unnecessary risk. Ramon could have died. And you could have taken 10 seconds to grab some protective gear. If we had enough staff to restock the mask and gowns regularly, then I would have. Oh, so that's what this was. Your chance to play superwoman while taking a shot at my budget. You know, I saved a life. And the last time I checked, that's what we're here for. You set a bad example. You pull something like that again, and I'll have your ass in front of the medical board. Okay, as you all know, as far as the tribe is concerned, this beautiful woman is already a part of the family. And tomorrow, we're just going to seal the deal, all right? Make it final, even if I'm not acting as minister. Thank you very much. <laughs> Did you want to be the minister? That's the first when thing I've heard of that. When I my brother, my little brother, I see a man who truly has everything in his earth. Brilliant career, fantastic hit, and now the woman of his dreams. And I can honestly say from the bottom of my heart, I never liked you. <laughs> what is wrong with you? No, I'm serious. I'm proud. I'm, I'm, come here, come here. I'm proud of you. No, I'm proud of you. I've never been, never been so proud to call you brother. You know, this is funny. This is the guy that taught me how to actually skip stones. And who, you know. And, and also the guy who taught me how to fix antiques after we broke them, why we had the you, glue. Why, why you, uh, that was why, you, him, and I helped him, that? Mom. That's what I was going to say. He I made me, I was an accomplice. But what he really taught me, really, is about the love of family. And I can only hope that I am as good a father as our father was to us someday. That's, that's my hope. And I'm off to kind of a shaky start with, isn't that right, Damon? I got a lot to make up for. And if it's so with, with you and you, Tomorrow, while we celebrate the wedding of Amanda and Jake, I hope we can also celebrate you becoming a member of my family. I would love that. And as far as I'm concerned, everybody, everybody in this room has a reason to celebrate, because we are lucky to have all the people that we love in our lives. Nice. So, we got a lot to celebrate, all of us. I'll say the rehearsal is over. Let's get down to some serious partying, huh? <laughs> Girls, we're meeting over at Crystal's. That's Guys, right. you hightail it over to the casino and try to come back with a little cash in your pockets, right. please. Never. No chance. I got Grandma duty. I'll see you later. Oh. Kiss the girls for me, okay? Uh, you will. Definitely. Right. Tell Trevor that his mom and dad will see him soon. I will do just Thanks. that. Over there. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. Bye, Mom. All right. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to see you till tomorrow. I know. I really can't come quick enough. I just it's be good tonight. Yeah. Oh, with the whistle. Come on. Oh, my God. <laughs> enough for the fraternizing. Come on, show some willpower. All right, that's it. 
it. I will not touch this woman until I say I do. And then when I do, I will a lot. There you go. Know. That's lot. more like it. Have at it tomorrow. That better? That's better. Come on, okay. you. Right. Just go <laughs> over the thing. Hey, groom. It's not, not actually real. It's not even lucky. Okay, get to it. There you go. A little bit more for you. Get right. off again. Yeah, right. All right, look, where are you going? Hey, got any questions to ask? You know about the mysteries of matrimony, the secrets of sensuality. Stop playing with my hair. You can ask now because the master is in. Ah, all right. So that's cool. I should ask you, Ted the Cad, since kindergarten about. Relationships, the perpetual bachelor, and the guy who's afraid of commitment. Stop talking. Uh, what, what? What? That's that, that's so wrong. I love commitment. That's the. I'm big on commitment. You're I'm big on commitment. I'm huge on commitment. Don't throw that in my face. You're huge. Just because I am busy with Damon, you know, trying to make up for two decades of basically being a no-show. All right. Well, I, don't throw that. Let in me my put face. it this way: If you're at my wedding, who do you ask to dance first, Crystal or Liza? What kind of moronic question is It's that? a good question, because you're living with Crystal, yet you're with lies, right? So Whatever I do or do not do with Crystal is, is none of your business, mm -hmm. okay? And you know the situation with Liza? It's a mess, you know? I don't really know the situation with Liza. Are you sleeping with her again? Or... Just saying, because when you look at her, it's the type of look that you want to do more than just dance. You know? Is that Damon? <laughs> I thought you promised not to get up in my business, remember? I know, I know, I know. I just really hope you don't go through with your plan for tomorrow night, that's all. And this is how you leave it alone? Colby, what can I say, honey? I'm just concerned. No, you want to control my life. How are you doing? Great. Unless you want to set up another dinner date so you can ambush David for the changes he's made. I wanted to talk about you. You know, I know that we're not close, screaming, but I saved your life a few years ago. And I'm very grateful. You don't need to be grateful. You don't owe me. And just because David saved your life, you don't owe him either. It's time to start the fun and games. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. All right, you're playing. Fun. And the first game, the first game is love and truth. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone has to put their love life out there, and the truth and nothing but. All right. You said it. <laughs> 